ambitious individual. I had a special group of seniors who came and led cheers at 11 o'clock. I would also like to thank the parents for their continued and undying support of their young people. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank the staff of Cape Henlopen High School. Those of you who weren't there with us actually on the field, we had you there in spirit and thought, and we thank you for your continued support. Our superintendent, Dr. Sue Ellen Skeen, is here. I'd like to recognize her at this time. Dr. Skeen, will you please stand? I don't think I need to introduce my assistant, Dr. Dutton, but she's here today. She has been a great help throughout the tournament. shot of adrenaline and we thank you very much for that. We did appreciate it. Um, and thank everyone for your support of Cape Field Hockey. I would also like to give a special thanks to Coach Mike Eisenhower, our volunteer coach, David Lemon, Coach Sue Moore from Lewis Middle School, Coach Marge Erthel from Milton Middle School, Mr. and Mrs. Dave Fredericks, Sue Fredericks, uh, Mr. Phil Burke, Keith Rossetti, uh, Mr. Dan Cook. If there's anyone I've forgotten, I apologize. Um, all the hockey parents, thank you very much for your support of your daughters and the team. We started August 19th. <laughs> We finished the season undefeated, which was one of our, our goals. We made state tournament history in that we played a total of 168 minutes and 41 seconds in order to hang the I would like to introduce all the leagues that I've just uh, spoken about. I'd like to start with my managers, Liz Starr, Heather Stevenson, would you please just stay? just like to mention some some names. Our conference, first team north, 
for offense, Carrie Lingo. Our conference, first team defense, Northern Division, Emily Weir. Our conference, second team offense, Holly Brock. Our conference, second team midfielders, Allison Griffith and Shelly Sentman. Our conference, second team defense, Jackie Warrington. Honorable mention for Kate Penothen, Corinne Lemon. First team, all state offense, Carrie Lingo. First team, all state defense, Emily Weir. Senior representative to the Blue Gold All-Star Game, Emily Weir. I was, I was going to write a speech today, but uh, one of my colleagues took the time yesterday. In his absence, he, he would not be able to be here today, and I thought it more appropriate that I read this to the team members and that everyone here. To the Cape and Oakland High School field hockey team, the 1995 field hockey season has come and gone now. With a season's record of 16-0-4, the Hamilton Conference Championship, and the Delaware Secondary School Athletic Association State Championship won, you achieved something most people only dream about. Three other field hockey teams from Cape have made the state finals. One won it, two came very close, but none of them accomplished a championship quite, title quite like you did. Your place in Cape and Logan athletic history has been attained. But as you know, statistics and titles are never the measure of people that really matter. The spirit which your season's performances breathe life into the school and community is irreplaceable. I think you know that you are far more than simply a hockey team. You represent everything good for which people would like to think they stand. You represent spirit, hard work, dedication, and pride in self and school. It is hard to imagine the anxious moments, especially in the championship game, the delightful anticipations that are so much a part not only of sports, but of what life ought to be. I think each of you sensed the almost incredible affection that your peers and the community had for you as your season continued to generate the wild enthusiasm for which it finished. You have carved for yourself not only a magnificent record, you have also a set of unforgettable memories which will remain with you always. As the years roll on, and they will quickly, each of you will reflect over and over again on the greatness of your championship season, your, mo your moment. With your spirit and drive, you have helped unify our athletic program more than ever before. No words can express how proud I am of you. You have done what you did, have done well. Above all, you have carried yourselves with grace and dignity and represented your school with honor. Congratulations, forever a fan, Oscar, John M. Myers, coach and counselor. Great group of young ladies and coaches. I would like to say publicly that the hockey team, Coach Eisenhower, Coach Scotland, and yours truly, Thank you. 
Congratulations. Two-hour drive. So today was a, today was a relaxing. I would say today in Providence.